Do you want to become a successful developer and you're dreaming of working in big tech or do you want to just learn to code for yourself and build projects but you're not sure where to start? Well, in today's video I'm going to show you guys the roadmap of becoming a software engineer and getting hired in 6 months. So even if you don't know how to write a Hello World program or you don't know if you want to go back end or front end, this video is for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Now after looking through my DMs on Instagram and through the comments here on YouTube, I realized that a lot of you guys would love to learn to code but you guys don't know where to start or where to begin because to be honest there are a ton of resources and it's pretty hard to start if you're not going to university. So that's why I created a full roadmap on how to begin, how to start, so even if you guys have never coded a line in your life, it's completely fine. It is from zero to becoming a software engineer and getting hired in just six months, which is not a lot. So put in the work for just six months and then you're going to get hired. Now this roadmap is divided in month. So each month you're going to learn something else and you're going to work on something else. Now, of course, make sure you guys stick till the end of this video, because not only do I give you guys the roadmap on what you should do, but I also give you guys resources that you guys can use to learn those skills. So make sure you guys stick till the end and of course subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment if you guys want to. Now let's get started. In the first month you guys need to learn how computers work and how websites work, how the internet works. I mean you guys need the basics first. You need to understand how everything works before building upon it. I mean, you can't build a house on a ground you don't know, right? It's the same with coding. The best resources you can use are first CS50 and the crash course of computer science. CS50 is a really long course, it's actually 12 weeks, but you guys can watch the lectures that are about computer science. Also, if you're planning on becoming a web developer, you should start learning how to build a website, get a domain and have it up and running. There are a ton of resources you can choose, one of them is YouTube, just by googling you will find a ton of videos. Of course, the resources I recommend is uh, Learn Code Academy. Furthermore, if you have some time, start learning HTML and CSS. You can use Code Academy for that. They have a ton of sections and a ton of resources and a ton of amazing exercises. Now, the second month is all about JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is great for front-end developers as well as back-end developers. JavaScript is pretty much a safe programming language that you can learn. If you already know what you want to become, I mean, if it's only a back-end developer, then learn Python. This is where most of your focus will be over the next few months. Now, if it's JavaScript, you should only focus on JavaScript. If it's this Python, then you should only focus on Python. In this video, you're going to take a look at JavaScript. So you should learn what problem does JavaScript solve, starting writing little programs in JavaScript to make your website behave in a certain way. This language makes your websites do things other than just look pretty. Start with this in-depth free course. After the course, start learning JIT and JetHub. Create a JIP profile and start making commits every day. Start developing a sample website. Use JetHub pages to put your website online for free. This will be your portfolio. Also, you will work with JIT non-stop at work, so better learn it sooner than later. In this month, you should also learn to Google and use Stack Overflow when you run into problems. 99% of the problems you will encounter when you start out can be found online. You can also join a Discord or Slack server for developers and ask questions when you are stuck and can't easily find the answer on Google on Stack Overflow. The key is to practice solving your own problems rather than just constantly following tutorials and watching somebody else answer your questions. The best learning comes through the struggle, trust me. Now in the third month, you have to learn JavaScript, NPM and building your website. You will learn how to build a professional looking website and understand the entire process. Some things you have to learn this month are learn how to debug your programs and websites using Google Chrome, start networking by attending local or virtual meetups, encoding in JavaScript, learn the difference between synchronous and asynchronous JavaScript, learn Node.js and NPM and understand why NPM is such an amazing tool for developers. Now one skill that is overlooked by I, almost everyone that I know is how to read documentation. Trust me, 
it's way easier than you think and you guys will solve your problems way faster if you just read the documentation. Now in the fourth month, you should start learning React. React dominates the industry when it comes to job demand. In 2022, this trend is even stronger. There's also Angular and Vue.js as an alternative, but you want to stick with React for the best outcome. When learning React, start slowly building your resume. Start working on bigger projects that you can later on use in your portfolio and even add to your project. In the fifth and sixth month, you should concentrate on servers, databases, and building your portfolio. Get hired. After all, this learn is all how to communicate here, with right? servers. Go a step further and master Node.js and Express.js here. Learn how to build an API server. Once you're done with this, use a fun API to build a simple app and then build a small project using a database and go a step further and create an app using Firebase as the database or use Firebase to set up a user login and logout. Learn the basic of web architecture concepts and start uploading all the important projects you worked on into your portfolio. Also, don't forget to start lead code to practice interview questions. And that's about it. I know this is a lot of information and yes, you are going to learn a lot in a little time. Of course, you guys can always add stuff into the roadmap, but these are the things that you have to learn if you want to become a software engineer in just six months. And please keep in mind that you have to code every single day. And this six month roadmap is based on you guys working between five to eight hours every single day. So it may take you longer if you guys don't have that many hours throughout the day, because I know most of you guys are working. So just keep that in mind. If it's a little bit slower for you, it's completely fine as long as you just put in an hour a day. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more educational videos.